Hey Fruity Cutie, what's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. I'm trying something new with my hair. If you don't like it, just keep it to yourself. If you like it, you can tell me. But um, I decided, you know what? This is the best way for me to not touch my hair. Put my hair up, duh. So all the people that complain, there you go. Oh, I'm still touching it. Okay, listen, I love you guys. It's just a nervous hack. I get kind of nervous on here because, I don't know, I'm looking at myself. It's awkward. It's weird. But today's video is about how to get off coffee, but for real, for real. Okay, so I have been off coffee for almost 15 years now. I am turning 39 in three weeks. I know, I know, I look 18, especially with these pigtails here. Now, I don't look 18, but I'm looking pretty young. And uh, that is because of many things. Mostly, it's because of what I don't eat. So remember this for the rest of your life. It's what you don't eat that heals you, okay? And so I don't consume any coffee. And coffee is a drug. I got off drugs a long time ago. And I want to help you get off drugs. So I need you to get off coffee. First of all, one of the best ways to replace coffee is this stuff called Ticino. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff to show you guys that's in front of me. So let me try to get it together. There is this stuff. It's called Ticino. So I have a lot in my house because my roommate is currently getting off coffee for the millionth time. And so we got this for her. And it's all types of, let me see if I can put it here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so Ticino is a brand of roasted herbal tea that tastes and smells just like coffee and they have a lot of different flavors. I found this on Amazon and honestly, I smell it. It smells so freaking good. It smells just like coffee. So the ingredients are organic carob, organic barley, organic chicory, organic ramen seeds, and organic natural coffee flavor. Okay, the coffee flavor is kind of suspect, but we're going to accept it because there's no caffeine in here. There's no real coffee in here. So we're happy about that. Okay, next we have a hazelnut flavor. Listen to these ingredients. Organic carob, organic barley, organic chicory, dates, almonds, organic figs, and natural hazelnut flavor. Smells so freaking good. They also have ones with like turkey tail, ashwagandha. They have ones with um, reishi, lion's mane. Here's the ingredients for that. Carob po pods, chicory root, barley, dates, rose petals, rhodiola root, rhodiola root. I don't know what that is. Lion's mane extract, figs, and natural rose flavor. So these are pretty damn healthy. And I'll just read one more. Dandelion coconut, which she really likes as well. And this one is organic carob, organic chicory, organic dandelion, organic dates, organic almonds, organic orange peel, organic coconut, organic figs, organic coconut, and orange flavors. Okay. So the brand is Ticino. I don't work with them. I'm not sponsored at all. No affiliation. I will leave the link to the below, though, to the sampler that I bought her. She loves it. She makes it with just water, and sometimes she puts maple syrup in there, and sometimes she puts, like, almond milk or oat milk or, mm, I think that's it, or hemp milk. I'll make her hemp milk sometimes. But you honestly don't even need anything. But if you really want it sweeter, you can put in... A sweetener like maple syrup. Um, if you want it creamier, you can use you can use the base instead of water. You can do any type of plant milk. Okay, so that is what I recommend immediately for you to get off coffee. You see, what's happening is coffee is destroying your adrenal glands, and it's really really affecting your thyroid. It's affecting your hormones. You're not going to be able to lose weight as fast if you're drinking coffee. And I know that sounds like, oh, wait, all the, all, don't all the supermodels just drink coffee and do cocaine and stuff? Yeah, they're like 18. You're not, boo-boo. I know we look 18, but you're not 18 anymore, boo-boo. Okay, so you need to um, understand that your metabolism is getting fucked over by coffee. Your, th your thyroid, your hormones, your adrenal glands. Everything is getting destroyed. And oh, not only that, but the lining of your stomach is getting eaten away by the acidity of the coffee. And a lot of people get ulcers from drinking coffee. So you need to get off that ASAP. Coffee is extremely addicting. It's very acidic. And the only way to get off addictions is what? Abstinence. Right. Abstinence. So we need you off the coffee immediately. 
So I'd recommend Ticino. Now, if you are not, if you've tried this and you don't like it for some crazy reason, okay, then I can't help you. This is the best replacement, okay? So if you are past this point where you don't need to get off coffee, you need to get off tea because you're getting like caffeine from your tea, well, then I have a solution for you as well, okay? I'm still touching my hair, but you know, it's way, way better, way better. Okay, so the next solution to getting off caffeine, tea with caffeine is to get your own herbal tea, but you want to get it in the loose leaf form because it's way stronger. There's lots of teas for energy, okay? Natural teas. You can get ones with maca in there or um, I know spirulina is really good for energy. You can put that in a smoothie. Um, basically, if you're not if you're feeling very tired, it's probably because you're not sleeping enough. It's probably because you can't get deep sleep because you're probably eating crap and staying up too late and you're on your phone. So there's some, there's definitely some solutions to help you get better sleep, which I'll talk about in a minute. But the solution for the tea, get off the tea bags and get to a farmer's market and get you some real tea and steep it, okay? I have chamomile for deeper sleep, which is gonna help you with your energy the next day, okay? You gotta do, prevention is, is the key for health, right? So you gotta make sure and do things to prevent having low energy the next day. So one of the ways is to get deeper sleep. I have this great, I don't know who makes this, Urban Tapestry. I have this great mix. It's oat straw, chamomile, passion flower, skull cap, hops, whoops, sorry, somebody's texting me, hops, pet, rose petals, and lavender. Okay, so again, it's oat straw, chamomile, passion flower, skull cap, hops, rose petal, and lavender. It's a great mix. It tastes really good. I would recommend this. It works really good. Um, they have all types of teas, digestive support. Somebody recommended milky oats for my anxiety and nervous system. I could use something. Um, they also have this one. I thought that was funny. Grief support. I don't know. I don't get that one. Also, I have red clover blossoms, which is really good for digestion and bloating. Tea can be phenomenal. I would recommend you leave it out on your counter in something like this so you can remember that you have it. Let me tell you about sleep now because a lot of people are drinking coffee because they're really tired, right? And I understand that. So I need you to get deeper sleep. Something I highly, highly, highly recommend that really helped me. The two things that really, really helped me. One is shutting off my phone. Shut off the phone. Your phone is destroying your melatonin, boo. You cannot produce melatonin for up to two hours after looking at a screen. So you need to shut off this phone. Shut it off like right after this video, after you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Okay, after that, after you shut off your phone, what I would highly recommend is you have tea for sure, like an hour or two before bed. And then something really cool is a eye mask. Okay, so I absolutely feel the difference between wearing an eye mask and not wearing one. And I know this is very strange. This is a little strange to me because I have blackout curtains. So I figured like, why do I need an eye mask? But the truth is, is that I, I think there's like a little bit of light or something that's coming through my door or the windows, even though I have blackout curtains, that even that tiny bit of light is affecting me. And so when I wear my eye mask, I literally have like 50% deeper sleep, okay? And I just highly, highly, highly recommend you get an eye mask. I'll leave my favorite one below. It's like $10 or less. I got mine at TJ Maxx, but you can also find it on Amazon. I'm telling you this eye mask, it's really, it's really worth it. Um, and then I have lots of other tips and tricks because I suffered with insomnia for a long time. Affirmations is another one that you might want to get into. So basically you say affirmations before bed and even during the day. And one of my favorites, favorite affirmations ever is I am so happy and grateful now that I sleep straight through the night and I always wake up energized and refreshed. I've been saying that affirmation for years and it actually came true. I do sleep. I haven't slept recently because I've been partying in the Bahamas for my best friend's birthday. But um, tonight I'm going to sleep really good because I always sleep straight through the night. 
and I always wake up energized and refreshed. Say that like a hundred times before bed. Write it out too. Okay, last thing about the tea, okay? And obviously, if you're on coffee, I'd recommend that Ticino stuff. If you need caffeine, I mean, I would just recommend going cold coconut, just getting off it and getting smoothies into you, spirulina into you, maca, energizing things, lots of fruit. Um, I even have a date I have a raw vegan date mix, which is dates, cinnamon, ginger, and hot water. Put it in the blender, blend it up. It makes an amazing drink, and it's very energizing. You can put maca in there too. The final thing I'll say about the tea, and I'm going to put this on me so I can show you guys. The final thing I'll say about the tea, and then I'm going to sleep. (laughs) I'm tired. Is to get a cup that you love. It's going to help you a lot with experiencing, you know, Just having a nice experience instead of dreading like not having your coffee. So if you want to get into tea, like I became a tea drinker after giving up coffee because I needed something. I needed something. Even though I don't eat cooked food, I, at the time, when I gave up coffee, I ate cooked food. I needed something warm. So what I recommend, you don't have to get that one, is you get a cup that you love. I love this watermelon one. I love this clear one a lot. Get a mug that you absolutely love. I love this one too. You've already got what it takes. And just enjoy the experience as much as possible. Love this clear t- clear cup. I like sit. I used to sit, like read or journal with my tea. And I'm like, oh, so luxurious. I just love it. Because a lot of times the coffee is like, it's very luxurious, you know, getting your coffee from Starbucks. I understand, you know, just like getting your cappuccino in this beautiful, usually they serve it in nice mugs and stuff or like whatever. It's a whole experience. And so you want to create that at home with tea instead or the Ticino stuff. Okay. Or maybe bring this to work. Okay. But you need to recreate the luxurious experience because it's not just the coffee. It's the whole experience of having the coffee. It's not just the energy you need. It's the experience of thinking that you're getting this energy, which you're not. You're not. You're actually becoming more and more and more tired the more coffee you drink. Another thing I'd recommend real quick is exercise. I know you'd rather drink coffee than exercise, but exercise energizes you way more than coffee and even more than sleep. If you had to choose or if I had to choose between an hour of sleep or an hour of exercise, I would choose an hour of exercise because I know that the exercise is actually going to make me feel way more energized than the sleep. I know that sounds crazy, but that is true. And that's the video for today, guys. If you're interested, I have one more spot in my food addiction freedom course. It is a course for women only, women that are suffering from a food addiction. And listen, it is not your fault. The food was designed to make you addicted to it. Coffee is designed to be addictive. It's a drug. So like, what do you expect? But if you're interested in getting off it for good, if you're interested in getting off the processed foods, the salt, the sugar, the oil, then I can help you. Send me an email. I'll leave the information below. You can also get on a call with my assistant. She graduated from the Food Addiction Freedom course, and she can help you to answer all your questions and to find out what it's like in the course and if you'll get your money's worth. Listen, I promise you, this will be the best investment you've ever, ever made for your health. Trust me, give me six weeks and I will give you your life and your body back that you really, really want, the energy level you want, the health you deserve, and the life you deserve. I want you to get to summer 2024 and feel amazing in your body. And if that's something you want, then that's something I want to help you get. I love you. Check out the information below and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for not making fun of me with his hair. What do you think? I'm embarrassed, but... It's kind of cute, actually. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, wait. I want to show you one thing. This is such a crazy ADD smorgasbord video. I found a picture of my mom. I was cleaning, and I found this picture of my mom. And I wanted to show you guys. It's one of the last photos I took of her here in Miami when I flew her out to visit. Do we look alike? I made her I made her hold her watermelon for a photo. I just I love her and I miss her a lot and she did a lot for me and she was truly she didn't have an easy life. 
right? And she didn't have all the tools to be a perfect parent, but like who does? But honestly, I miss her every day and she did so much for me and she was so selfless and um, I just really miss her. So if you lost your mom, dad, somebody special in your life, I my heart goes out to you. I feel you, boo. I know what you're going through and um, I'm here for you and um, I love you and they love you and they're always here. They're always here. Um, anytime you need them, they are here for you. They are with you forever. And you'll meet them again one day. And I just wanted to say thank you very much to everyone on here that's been so kind to me. And during the last year when, you know, I've been going through losing my mom, this fucking tea did not help. This grief support, it didn't work. I didn't even try it. Maybe that's why. <laughs> but I'm okay now. Everything's going to be okay. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.